All right, in this video, we're going to look at two examples of converting between Celsius and Fahrenheit. There are two formulas, but really they are the same. However, I have both of them listed up here for your convenience. If we have some Celsius and we want to convert to Fahrenheit, we can take the degree Celsius, multiply it by 9 fifths or 1.8, and then add 32 to it. That'll give us the Fahrenheit. If we have the Fahrenheit and we want to get degrees Celsius, we take the Fahrenheit, subtract 32 from it, and then multiply it by 5 ninths. I don't recommend using a decimal here because 5 ninths is a repeated decimal, but we will see that when we do these two examples. Now recall I did say that 9 fifths, 9 divided by 5 is 1.8, so you could use a 1.8 right here. And then the 5 ninths I did mention that we, I don't recommend using a decimal right there because the decimal does get repeated. But let's go ahead and work these two examples out. We want to convert 98 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So we're given Fahrenheit, we want to figure out Celsius. This is the better formula to use. Again, they're both the same formula, they're just rearranged algebraically. But since I know the Fahrenheit, I'm going to subtract 32 from it. So 98 minus 32. That's 66. We want to work inside those parentheses there. Then let's multiply that by 5 ninths. So times 5 ninths. You can use a fraction there or you can just say times 5 divided by 9. That's going to work just fine. Our answer there is going to be roughly 36.6 repeated or 36.7 degrees. So here's that answer there. Now let's do number 2. Let's convert degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. The better option here is to use the red formula since we know what Celsius is. We can plug it in right there. So let's take that 48. Let's multiply it. And I'll show you both methods with the fraction. So times 9 fifths. And then on this calculator, I can go ahead and type it all in because order of operations on the TI-34 or many TI calculators is handled properly. So working all this out, we get 118.4 degrees Fahrenheit. I did mention we can use 1.8 instead of the 9 fifths here, so let's look at that. 48 times 1.8 and then plus 32, we will get the same answer there as well as you can see. So for this answer here, 48 degrees Celsius is actually exactly 118.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's look at Google for these to check our work. So over at Google, uh, you can type in Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa, and you can change your drop-down menus if you need to, but 98 degrees Fahrenheit is roughly 36.7 degrees Celsius. And then for our other one, I have Celsius now over on the left and Fahrenheit over on the right. 48 degrees Celsius, our second example, does equal 118.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you have it, two quick formulas to convert back and forth between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and that's it for this video. I hope it helped.